Hey guys, today in this video I will be turning these sketches and this base plate into this Roblox dungeon. Let's get into the video. Okay, so you already saw the title of this video and you saw the introduction, but pretty much uh, I'm using this draft right here, these two pictures. Yes, I know they're not the best, okay. Uh, and I'll be making a dungeon out of that. So, the first picture. You can see, uh, this is the bird's eye view of it, okay, and, the pic and then next to that, in the same picture, uh, that's what the boss room should look like. I don't know why the thing looks like a chicken, uh, but yeah, that's the boss room. And then the second picture, that's what the entrance looks like, because it's kind of hard to make a dungeon entrance without knowing, like, do they want it medieval themed, do they want it to be a cave, what do they want? So, yeah, um, but it's, it's not the best. But you guys already know, I've done this before, uh, I made I made a coliseum, so I think I can do it again. Also, the guy that asked for this, let me just get it right, he wants 300 by 300. So, that's all I can work with. No more, no less. Um, and 300 by 300 isn't the worst, but... Compared to what my Coliseum was, it's, it's probably like double this, so I'll need to get a bit creative. My plan, let me just quickly show you, is to do one block wide. I'll add invisible walls so they can't go through. And then I will be using probably a... How big are the gaps? About a... This as the gap. Three... three uh, studs. No, that's three studs. I'm at 12 studs. I'll be using a 12 stud gap in between. And yeah, I'm gonna time lapse myself making the just uh, base, like all the walls, and then I'll come back when I'm done with that. Super quickly, I just want to say thank you so much for the amount of views we got on that Coliseum video. Of making this, the Coliseum video is sitting at 2.3k views. That might change, but making this right now is at 2.3k views. So thank you so much. Now, there was two things the guy didn't want me to do in the dungeon, okay? First, was to do nothing to the boss room, okay? I don't know why, he just doesn't want anything in the boss room, okay? Second thing, adds no textures. That was a little bit annoying because it makes the final product look much worse because when you have no textures things look crap okay now while making this the outline took so long it took three hours and 30 minutes the reason why it took that long is because I had to stick to my rule of 12 studs I didn't change it that whole time and 12 studs in a 300 by 300 box it starts to use up space pretty fast but luckily I think I made it turn out well, and I use a lot of bits, I use my space well. Okay, I'm gonna play just another 20 more seconds of this uh, time lapse, so I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I've finished the outline and doesn't look the worst. Okay, this is, I'm gonna just go all the way out. And this is what the maze looks like. So there is two ways to get to it. So here is the uh, boss room. I'm not meant to touch this. I think I've, re I've already said that in the voice recording. But yeah, like I've already said, I'm not allowed to touch this. Okay. Um, there's two ways. So you can go, you come from this section. Okay, and that's all the way from there, all the way, all, all that stuff to here. We can come from, go a loop all the way around. And it's really like, this one is, f this side's full maze, while this one's just back and forwards. Look, boom, 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 boom. Skip through there, even. It, I don't even know, which, I actually don't know which one's faster. But yeah, now I'm going to increase the walls. So rise them all up. And then we'll, uh go from there. So, time lapse. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so I've done all the walls and I made a simple roof for the time being. Okay. And there's one thing that's pretty noticeable. It's dark. Like, really dark in here. So I'm going to model a lantern and make it hang from the roof and like shine down. So I'm going to mo model the lantern and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've just finished the lantern and I'm going to give it a look. Here it is. Very simple design, but I think it's pretty good. So here's the bottom. Not bad. And then here it all is. I'm going to uh, add the light source inside of it and then I'm going to start putting it around here. I'm also probably going to make some chains. I was thinking, just so it hangs a little bit, but it's a 50-50. But I've made the model so far. And I'll just place it around and I'll come back when I've done that. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, add some ch add a chain. Looks very nice. Uh, and then I added a little light source all around. It's just... I don't want to spam it, so I just put it from, like, second to section. It'd be pretty easy to just see how I take this off. All those little glowing bits. That's a light. And yeah. Now it's up to this picture right here. The main entrance. I'm not sure if I can make that. So I'm going to try and see if I can make this. But if I can't, I'll think of another solution. So uh I'm gonna think about if I can make this and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so say what you want, but I'm actually gonna use this um, model right here as the door. Okay, I'm gonna add decorations because we wanted like uh, vines or whatever all over it, so I'm gonna add some vines and everything. And you might call that cheating, but so many other devs use stuff from the toolbox, so you know, why not just join the pack? So I'm gonna just time lapse myself, adding some decorations, and yeah, let's go. Okay, so I finished. Pretty simple. I think uh, the green sticks out really well here. And yes, I know I cut off that. I kind of actually like that, personally. Add a ring there. I wanted to make it not even so it doesn't look so like perfect. Even though those, these two are perfect. But eh, I think that being weird, that being weird, and a random little thing there makes it look good. And mostly, this is done. But, I want to add some things, like, uh, the map creator, got a little, uh, secret room, talk about that in a minute, um, so yeah, have that, I also, just in general, uh, want to add some decorations, like, uh, cause this is a bit of a cave type dungeon thing, I'm, I'm getting it from the, what the front looks like and kind of the pictures that he's shown me, so I'm gonna put some, I don't know how to explain, but like, his image, like the wooden things to hold up the rocks or whatever, I don't know the name. Uh, what's what's the name? Yep, that's the name of them. Uh, but I want to put some of those around, and uh, I don't need to texture it, like I've already said, I think. Uh, don't need to texture it, the guy what doesn't want it textured. I don't know, this is textured, but I'm, I don't really care about that. And the boss room stays the same, so uh, I'm just going to do those two things and then I'll come back so I'll see you guys when I'm done it is officially done so I have the wood beam things whatever uh, not all of these like areas oh I'll fix that in a second I still got to do a little like just brief check over things we see so you got this here you got this one here I need to find an example. yeah see here like here there's no here, there's no one. It's just when there's like a new kind of full section. 
I'm I kind of added one to so see here and see now this is, leads to a new sections. Nothing here because like uh, it's connected. But like, no, that's a new section. This isn't. This is all just like all of that. It's it's like kind of like that, I guess you could say. So I think go back to. Okay. Well, it's mostly it's going to be done. So I'm going to hand this over to the guy. I'll be back in maybe a day or two, and we'll s see what he thinks about it. So. Yeah, hope he in, hope he likes it. So I'll catch you guys back in three days. Okay, so it's been a couple of days, and the guy enjoyed it. Here's some of the DMs. I blurted user because I care about privacy. I don't even care if he says he doesn't want it or he does. I just like giving the guy some privacy. Um, but yeah, that's it for the video. So see you guys later.